Riveting content, empowering your life. Welcome to The Sphere. This episode is sponsored by Houston Housewives of Finance. For more information on increasing your cash flow, becoming your own money manager, and to schedule your complimentary personal finance strategy, contact the Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463. Elite Dental Wellness At Elite Dental Wellness, Dr. Ashandra Batiste understands that one of the biggest obstacles is dental fear. The vision at Elite Dental Wellness is to ensure every patient is treated with respect, ultimate care, patience, and love. Call us today to make an appointment at area code 713-789-8680. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at thesphere.tv or call us at area code 832 And welcome to another episode of All Things Beauty. We are on, on episode 84, and we have with us today Joy Diggs, who is hey, joining y'all. us. Yes. She's going to talk with us about fitness and nutrition today. Especially with the holidays coming up. Yes. We like to be healthy <laughs> George a little bit, so yeah. Yes. So, Joy, why don't you introduce yourself to um, the viewers? Okay. My name is Joy Diggs. I'm the owner of Dig Deep Fitness and Nutrition, located right here in Houston. I train over in the Heights. I'm a personal trainer, registered dietitian, and a certified weight loss specialist. And so I help my clients to achieve their their life goals. I like to think about becoming who you want to be, not just for now, thinking about fitness and nutrition, but also like, what are your big goals? Who are your big dreams? Who do you want to become? Uh, I think we should all be aspiring to greatness and becoming our highest expression of ourselves. And so I always push my clients to just get beyond their comfort zones, overcome the boundaries and the barriers, and to just, you know, become a beast at life. Yes. Yeah. I, you guys, if y'all have not checked out Joy, she looks amazing. So I know her <laughs> clients you. does as well. You can also go to her website and check out before and after. But um, we're going to get into um, what we want you to, well, you did introduce yourself, but tell us a little bit about, like, fitness, how you started, what okay. inspired you? Okay, I kind of fell into personal training. I've always been more on the healthy eating side. Mm-hmm. Honestly, um, in high school and in middle yeah. school, I played basketball. Okay. Um, I ran track for a little bit, so you know, I was an mm-hmm. athlete. And so I know that healthy eating came along with just becoming okay. a, a better, you know, in a better state of fitness. Right. Um, in a se- senior year of high school, I was kind of a professional lab rat. And so you okay. know how you see research, research mm. studies, you know, give, give you some money. Uh, to come in and do something experimental. Really? And so I didn't have like a part-time job, okay. but I would do these research studies. Okay. And so I grew up in the house with my grandmother. Mm-hmm. And we all know grandma, soul food every night. Yeah. <laughs> and so I didn't have the healthiest eating habits. I, I, I can relate. With my grandma, yeah. it's cayenne pepper. She put it in everything. everything. I don't understand. Yeah, Tony. I was like... Tony's on everything. My, that's my mama. Okay. You know, so I can definitely <laughs> relate to like the unhealthy eating habits of exactly. like growing up so i can see you know how that makes yeah and so i was getting like you know first second third sometimes you know mm-hmm. more and more plates of food but anyway so i did this research study and mm-hmm. they were they were um studying the effects of a low-fat diet on your metabolism and so they controlled mm-hmm. everything that i ate for a week okay so i had to go to texas children's hospital pick up this food okay and i had to eat exactly what they gave me Okay. And so that was a big difference from mm-hmm. soul food, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> so, I can ima- Texas yeah. children, I can imagine. Exactly. So yeah. I ate this food for a week, and mm-hmm. I was really able to see the difference between how I mm-hmm. felt. 
just eating healthy for that one week. And I was mm-hmm. like, you know what? This is something I'm going to continue. Okay. And so as I got into college, I became more healthy um, because I was able, able to better control what I, what I chose to eat. Right. Of course, when you're in high school, you're eating what your parents feed you. Yeah. And so when I got into college... I maintain or those healthy. What you can afford in my case, because <laughs> yeah. if you well, got a dollar McDonald's, see in college I, I was blessed to have the unlimited meal plan, so I could go back to the cafeteria as much as I wanted to go. You know what? Let me just piggyback off of that because we're okay. talking about what we ate in college. Because uh-huh. I was probably not the most healthy college student, but I never liked the cafeteria food. That's neither here or there. But I just wanted to like throw that out there yeah, since you was talking. Some about options it. were better than others, yeah. you know. But yeah. I, I made it work. And so <laughs> that's the freshman 15. Making oh it my work. God. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that, that unlimited meal plan could have went the wrong, the wrong direction. Definitely. definitely. Okay. I see <laughs> but that. I was choosing the healthy stuff. Okay. And so I got really, really into health and I actually went into college as a business major to open up a healthy mm-hmm. fast food restaurant. Okay. Um, that was my goal. Um, I got kind of sidetracked a little bit and decided to major in exercise and sports science okay. because I knew it was related to nutrition. Right. And then I would do nutrition in grad school. But and you so, actually went to school also for um, nutrition, right? Uh, yeah, that was in grad yeah, school. Okay. I got my master's. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. And so while I was in grad school, I needed a part-time job right. um, with flexible hours mm-hmm. and personal training. I had that undergrad degree. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, you know what? I, people tell me I look like a trainer. I play sports. Mm-hmm. Let's just see what this is all about. Yeah. And that was almost 10 years ago. Yeah. Really? Wow. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know it was, you yeah, know, you yeah. were 10 been, years two, in the game. July 2008. I started at Bally Total Fitness in oh Atlanta. Oh, my God. Yes, okay. ma'am. Well, yeah. that's a very long background of doing fitness and nutrition. So right. I know you have some very good information for us today. Um, so with that being, you know, your passion and your inspiration. And, uh, I, well, I do want to ask you this as well, since we're talking about what inspired you, um, your gym. Uh-huh. Your actual business, right? Like um, where tell us where that is located again, and what all what services do you offer there? Got you. So I'm in the Heights. I'm off of Six Ten and Shepherd. Okay. Um, some people may be familiar with the Fiesta that used to be on Shepherd. They tore it down. Yeah, you know yeah. what that, that I used was? to go there all the time. I, I did used too. to walk there yeah. from where my grandma lived. Oh, uh, where was your grandma? Studiewood. Okay, uh, you know a Up little closer in the Heights. But also, I went to Hamilton, which is in the Heights I, too. And so. they changed the name. I think it's Heights High School or something like what? that now. Yes, ma'am. They changed it. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, it's right over there by that, fi- by where the fiesta used to be. Mm-hmm. Um, but I offer, you know, personal training, group training. So if you want to come in and work out with a friend, okay. have an accountability partner, that's great. Um, I'm a dietitian too, like I said. So I do okay. meal plans. I do nutrition consultations. If you have mm-hmm. diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol, mm-hmm. you need someone to kind of help you, okay. help guide you into healthier decisions. Okay. I got you there. Huh, I'm gonna do awesome. grocery store tours. So. You know, the grocery really? stores where people get lost. I need to go. <laughs> let's go. Because, let's go. okay, so let's let's get into that a little bit to talk about food. Okay. And I wanted to mention, I was looking on your Instagram page, and you posted um, a vegetable that I wanted to eat. Butternut squash? The oh butternut squash. Oh, my God. I, was, I out, went Tiffany. and bought one. Did you? <laughs> I haven't cooked it. <laughs> I was about to say, how did you like it? But no, you haven't, you haven't, haven't had it yet. Okay. It. I have not cooked it, but you did inspire me to go and actually, because I looked at it and I said, oh, that looks like a sweet potato. Right. And, you know, you were talking it's about very how it's kind of sweet. Mm-hmm. And I said, hmm, I need to go and try that. Yeah. So um, talking about food and nutrition, um, let, I did want to tie in um, what the health. Have you seen that documentary? <sighs> It took me a couple times to get through it. <laughs> I, I won't lie. So I saw the hype. <laughs> I saw the hype, you know, about the documentary. I watched the, I watched the first 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. And because I'm in the health industry, okay. I, I can kind of tell when something is, rings false and when it's true. Mm-hmm. And so the first 30 minutes, within that first 30 minutes, he said something like, carbs can't make you fat. And I was like, excuse me. What? Excuse me? Like, what are you, what are you talking about I here? I believed him. Okay. And I went on a carb spree. <laughs> and you started like, eating carbs more? Make you started you eating fat. more carbs? Yeah. I was eating more carbs. Bad. Yes. Because I said, I was looking at this documentary because I'm very into what I eat. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and then the portion where they were talking about, like, the meat and, you know, um, how you need to take it out your diet and all of that stuff. Right. Um, so let's touch base on the carbs, too, because so many women are carb, like, freaks. They want to yeah. know how many carbs is in everything. Right. Elaborate on that. Tell okay. us about so it. Okay, so whenever you're eating more, more calories than your body needs, mm-hmm. calories, carbs, 
I mean, I'm sorry, carbs, protein, or fat. It's, mm-hmm. it's going to turn into stored fat. So if you eat more more carbs than your body <laughs> needs, it will become fat, okay? okay? So when they said that, when that was one of the first things I noticed to be false, mm-hmm. it made me question everything else in that documentary. Really? And so I kept pausing it, uh, checking facts, you know, pulling okay. up the different research studies that they were mentioning. Mm-hmm. And while it has some great information, I would just say don't take everything that they say as fact or as truth. Really? Yes. Yeah. Should you eat a, a plant-based diet? Yes, you should eat a healthier diet. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to lower how much meat or, meat that you eat for some people? Yes. It kind of depends on your body's okay. height. Um, but everything in the documentary is not true. Okay. Okay. So, well, I want to talk mainly about meat because I think okay. meat was the biggest portion of the documentary. Uh-huh. And also, I want to know just about, like, the health of it because for me, I try to take meat out of my diet. Personally, I don't eat pork so at are you, all. Are you a vegan now? Um. <laughs> Vegetarian? Oh. Pescatarian? <laughs> I'm trying to Work make in my progress. way there. Work in okay. progress, okay. So, yes, because, I you. you know, every now and then I still like chicken. You know, I might have mm-hmm. had a chicken soup before I got here. We're not going to tell anybody about it, but right. <laughs> I want to know, like, the health of meat. Like, what as a nutritionist, what can mm-hmm. you tell us about having meat in our diet? Okay. Um, what types of meat should we stray away from, and which ones make us fat? Okay. So I'll start with the last question. Which, <laughs> which meats make you fat? I'll go back and say yeah. any time that you have too much of anything, mm-hmm. it was going to make you fat because it's more than your body needs. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Very that true. health, I mean, meat can be a part of a healthy diet. Okay. So choosing lean cuts of meat, um, that's, you know, your, your chicken, boneless, skinless, that can be breast okay. or thigh. Take okay. the skin off, it makes a huge difference. Ooh. <laughs> eating fish, you know, eating lean cuts of steak. Mm-hmm. I don't eat pork personally. Um, some people may choose to. Okay. But that, keep in mind that that is a high sodium food. Mm-hmm. So just just off bat. So, you know, just, just making sure that you're watching your portions. So a portion size of your meat should be about the size of the palm of your hand. Wow. Okay. okay. So And that's relative to the person, which is great, because you can use your own hand to determine right. what, the, what that size is for you. That yeah. is so a I know, very like, good pointer. You know, a lot of us, we do, what, like two hands? Yeah, There's maybe a whole bunch of meat, a seconds. whole bunch of carb, and a little bit of, of um, a side you know, snack. You vegetables. Might chop it up and put it in something. So, <laughs> no, I think that's a really good pointer because so many people indulge in meat for Over-indulge sure. Overindulge in everything. Yeah, yes. th- this is true in mostly everything, but meat for sure. You know, some people have like two, three in the morning time eggs and bacon and sausage all in one. So right. I think that's a very good pointer mm-hmm. that you should take your portion from the palm of your hand. Okay. Yes. Don't be out here trying to <laughs> s- stretch your palm out. It may, be, it may differ, differ a little bit for Thanksgiving, but you know, on a regular health, you're trying to be healthy day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Use the palm of your hand for that. Um, but meat provides a lot of different mi- uh, vitamins and minerals and protein that we can't get from other sources. Hmm. And so a lot of times when people become a vegan, they, they don't get the right mix of different types of food. Hmm. And so they become malnourished because they're not getting really? all, all the vitamins and minerals that they need. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I really want to, I'm definitely going to piggyback off of that. Um, right now, we're going to roll into this portion of the show being sponsored by Houston Housewives of Finance. Did you know that only four states in the United States offer financial education? 33% or more than 77 millions of Americans don't pay their bills on time. 39% of Americans carry credit card debt from month to month. And 39% of adults say they don't have enough savings. Don't become one of these statistics. Let Houston Housewives of Finance advise you on increasing your cash flow and becoming your own money manager. By scheduling your complimentary personal financial strategy, contact Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463 or email us at info at HoustonHousewivesOfFinance.com. Ask us how you can participate in a complimentary financial literacy workshops near you. Houston Housewives of Finance are the new face of the new age of financial services. Alrighty. Again, for those of you who may just be tuning in, we are sitting down with Joy Diggs and we are talking fitness and nutrition. Um, We just 
kind of rolled out of. We're going to roll back in just a little bit on the topic of nutrition and meat in your diet. Um, I think uh, this is really big for people, especially since we're rolling into the holidays. And there's going to be there's gonna be so many choices of meat so on the choices, table. Yes. Um, but I did want to go into the vegan. Mm-hmm. As we have a lot of people right now, it's a lot of celebrities are inspiring people to become vegan. It's going to be a lot of people's first, like their first vegan Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. That's going to be huge. Yeah, that is going to be huge. <laughs> and... Um, and vegetarians and you were just mentioning that some people don't get the proper nutrition if they don't have meat in their diet mm-hmm. um ex- and then also don't assume that just because something is vegan that is healthy mm. that vegan does not equal healthy it just means it's not an animal product mm. so when we think okay. about french fries yeah that's a potato yeah vegetable oil yeah that's, a, that's a vegan but it's not necessarily healthy you know what i found out too about a lot of stuff because again i, I don't eat pork mm-hmm. and i had to start watching some of the stuff that i eat as fried food even vegetables some of that is fried in pork fat right Exactly. I was so surprised. I'm like, y'all are still trying to get me <laughs> and right, so make me impure. When you become a vegan, like you have to ask those questions. What is this? What is this cooked in? Because you're trying to avoid animal products. Like you said, it, it can be cooked in an animal product. Yeah. Even if it's a vegetable. For sure. Yeah. That is very surprising. I didn't know that. It kind of took me aback. But since we are on the food um, topic, I want to know what can you suggest to us um, for healthy meals as a nutritionist? For a vegan or for... Just, uh, just for everyone in general, it doesn't have to be vegan. Because not okay. everybody is vegan. Most right. people are not. And most people actually probably don't follow a full vegan <laughs> diet. <laughs> okay, a full healthy vegan diet. Yeah, yeah, or healthy at least. So just what are some tips or some vegetables, um, some healthy meals that we can eat? Okay, I'll kind of run down like some health, the healthy items in different food groups. And mm-hmm. then you can kind of mix and match. Okay. Um, so when, you th- when you're thinking about carbs... You want your healthy, <laughs> basically. Uh, you want to choose healthy carbs, so the carbs okay. that are not refined. You want to choose whole grains. So that's um, your quinoa that is brown rice, mm. oatmeal. Have you had quinoa before? I don't really know what quinoa is. It's a different type of grain. It's similar to rice. I, is it the it's one small, little like pebbles? Little, mm-hmm. It kind of look. It looks funny. It's gonna. T- it's gonna change your life. I'm telling really? you. Really? Just like the butternut squash. Will. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta try case. it out. <laughs> now, don't eat it by itself because just like you wouldn't eat rice just plain, you want to put some flavoring mm, to it. Okay. So cook it in the chicken broth. Mix it with different vegetables and meat. Mm, yeah. So okay. use it as like a base of okay. your of your meal. Hmm. Um, so yeah, you can do like different healthy carbs, potatoes, but watch the portion size and watch what you're putting on them. See, let me tell you my guilty pleasure with potatoes. What's okay, that? I'm trying to gain weight, ironically enough. Okay. But I'm gonna gain weight, so I said, okay, potatoes. I'm just gonna eat potatoes for like two weeks straight. Nothing but potatoes. <laughs> Nothing but potatoes. Wait Bake a second, them. Wait a make soup. Are you doing anything like with like in the meal with the yeah, potatoes? Yeah, okay. like, yeah. Like, like <laughs> no, like I will make them. I make some really bomb potatoes, but I make them out of all vegetables. Like I'll put maybe broccoli some cheese in it like one day sometimes i'll mix it i might throw like uh, some salmon on top of it Mm -hmm. Um, i've tried some weird things putting corn in it i just mix stuff up because i feel like (laughs) (laughs) you're making it happen yeah i just i'm trying to like mix the things sometimes it don't look as good as i'm it might taste to me you know as long as it tastes good that's all that matters acquired taste you know just so how did it work out for you um i haven't really seen any results but then again, I would say this, I don't work out very often. So <clears throat> that might have a lot to do with it, too. Yes, yeah, so no, I mean, it depends on what you want the extra weight to become. So if you're just trying to gain weight and you don't care like, <laughs> <laughs> where it goes, it could easily become body fat. And you'll be bigger. <laughs> okay. I mean, some people want to be thicker, you know, so. Uh, you know, I'm just get, get trying to, it's winter time. You're trying to get a winter coat or what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little hard to explain, but I know some of the viewers out there are they're hearing what I'm saying because uh-huh. you know it's winter. Everybody want to get that winter time bay, so they say. Uh-huh. So they're trying to be looking a certain type of way, uh-huh. um, fitness wise. So you're on the w- winter bay. Or- diet. Is that what this is? <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm so kidding. But um, you can admit it though. You doing potatoes? I you mean, know what? You Let's get that. into fitness since we are, are talking about it. But okay. I do want to shout out to all the people on Facebook Live right now that are tuning in. Hey, Facebook Live, we ask Thank y'all for that joining you. Us. Subscribe to our show on all major platforms, including iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and Stitcher. Review our show in iTunes with constructive feedback. Share this Facebook post live and the entire show with your family and your friends. Donate to our mission to bring enriched and inspiring content each and every week. You can donate at www.thespear.tv. Okay. So um, let's get into fitness because I know uh, it's the holidays. Everybody wants to stay fit. January is right around the corner. So everybody right. is about to this start year making. Flew by. You know, I can't, I can't, oh my god, I really can't believe it. Yeah, like, yeah, it really did. My birthday's in January, so I'm like, I, I just turned 35. Like, how much about to turn 36? 35? 35. See, this is how we know she is a true fitness person and nutritionist because <laughs> I, 35 did not cross my mind at thank all. You, thank you, Tiffany. You look really good. Thank you. So that's for all of the people who are tuning in. If you want to look as good as she does at 35, <laughs> go and visit her in the Heights in 610. Yes. Okay. I mean, like, what you eat is going to make the biggest difference on how you look, um, your energy levels, yeah. your longevity of life. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, definitely want to eat healthy. You know, I definitely can relate to that because, again, I changed my diet a lot. Um, I was at one point eating just fish and vegetables. And I can say um, from my experience of changing what I eat, mm -hmm. It will make you feel better. Definitely. You look but it first of all, if you have bad skin or if you have acne, especially as an adult, you probably want to take a look at what you're eating. Because exactly. a lot of what you're eating is probably causing that acne to flare up in your skin. Yeah. So I would say, um, sometimes a lot of times wheat and dairy mm. um cause those flare ups. Okay. I know for me I did a bodybuilding competition a couple a couple years ago and I had mm -hmm. to take wheat and dairy out. Really? And so I couldn't eat it for four months. Mm -hmm. And when I added it back in, I got I got acne, I got mm. bloated, I felt fatigued yeah. and sick. Yeah. And so I had to kind of remove it out of my diet again. Mm -hmm. Now I don't I don't I don't take it all the way out because I still right. want my Papa John's pizza every now and then. Papa, <laughs> John's. <laughs> Papa John's Papa John's I know. Papa I'm, John's I'm, yeah, you got something Papa John's out here saying that the NFL making him losing out on his dough. He's hurting my heart. So Papa gonna have to go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so like Domino's. I, I just make sure it's not a part of my day to day, my day to day eating habits. So I'll okay. have you know some treats every now and then, but mm -hmm. I, I don't eat wheat and, and dairy day to day. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. that's a good point too that mm -hmm. we're touching base on that because so many people don't understand or they can't directly relate, you know, beauty with fitness but your fitness and your diet plays yeah. a lot in your beauty everything role. so um can you just give us some pointers or some tips on that to touch base on how people um can correlate fitness and beauty yeah so water intake is huge for skin yeah. you already know that one yeah, yeah. you want to stay hydrated for sure um, dehydration yeah. is partially what, what causes yeah. aging i mean like when you dry up you see you've seen people mm. with, with really dry skin yeah um that causes wrinkles and really crusty lips that's another oh wow thing. call them out <laughs> <laughs> since we're talking about <laughs> it just, you know yeah, what else, what else, you can always tell people who don't drink a lot of water because they have very crusty lips okay <laughs> that's another thing to You're roll into me. there <laughs> on beauty ladies and gentlemen yeah so uh making sure that you have at least half of your body body weight in ounces mm. so for example i'm 165 so that means i need about 80 ounces a day mm -hmm. and you divide that by eight so that's about 10 cups a day that i would need mm -hmm. uh-huh so okay. that could work for you know that's about a, a ballpark of what you need for the day mm -hmm. so making sure you get your water making sure you're eating at least five servings of fruits and vegetables a day okay um so servings about a cup so if you think that, you know, you eat a breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, mm -hmm. if every time you eat, you have a fruit or a vegetable, that's easily your five right mm, there. That's and true. that's the minimum. Yeah. The minimum. Yeah. Most people only eat two a day, if that. Mm. So, I eat a lot yeah. of fruit. Um, I was wondering, too, um, a friend of mine, he's like, oh, you eat so much fruit, that's probably why you're getting fat, which was very offensive. But he I said, thought you said you were trying to gain weight, right? Yeah, but it was it was not a compliment. It's not, <laughs> not the kind of way you're trying to get <laughs> <laughs> You know, let's spread that out a little right. bit. Pinpoint. Yes. Um, but on another note, like, for sugar and, and, um, and fruit, mm-hmm. 
how do we disperse that? Because I know, like, for myself, um, or if you drink a lot of smoothies and mm-hmm. stuff, does yes. that add to you gaining does. weight? Yes. Um, again, if you're eating too much of anything, it's going gonna, it's gonna to turn into fat. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Specifically for fruit, a lot of times with those smoothies, it just has way too much sugar at one time. Mm-hmm. So when you think about a piece of fruit, it typically has somewhere around 20 grams of sugar in mm-hmm. it. When you eat a smoothie, drink a smoothie, it can easily have 60, 80, you know, grams of sugar. Mm. That's not, not typically what you would have on, like, one piece of fruit. Plus, when you're eating the fruit. Mm. <laughs> that, that, that touched me. When you're eating bit. the fruit, you're getting this. the fiber and, you know, some other things that's going to slow down the digestion of that liquid. Mm. And so when you're drinking a smoothie, it just is quickly absorbed into your body, and then it, it can cause your blood sugar to rise quickly. Mm. So. That uh, made me think. I followed this other guy who does fitness, too, um, on Instagram. And he made a video about the Bolt House drinks, mm. which hurt my feelings. Because, yeah. honestly, I used to have those every morning. What did he say? Faithfully. He was telling us that it was diabetes in a bottle. That it's nothing but sugar. And then when I actually, because, you know, it, I think it advertises no sugar. No sugar added. Yeah, no sugar added. They don't have to because it's like five pieces of fruit in there. <laughs> right. And I thought it was healthy for and me. And then also think about like in those containers, a lot of times it's more than one serving. They know you're going to drink the whole thing. But right, if you look right. on the back on the nutrition label, it'll say mm-hmm. serving size, you know, servings per container too. Okay. Hmm. So you got to multiply everything on that label times too. So, yeah, you get a, a ton of sugar. So, um Let's see what I, exactly how I want to ask for a good diet. Um, some things that we should stay away from. Um, as far as wise. avoiding, yes, I would say more about limit limiting. Mm-hmm. Um, because, like I said, I'm gonna have my Papa John's pizza and my chocolate chip cookies and my brownie Sunday sometimes. Ooh. So there's, I wouldn't say you have to, you know, stay away from things because when you think about mm-hmm. you can't have something, a lot of times it makes you crave it more. Mm-hmm. So you can have things in a limited amount. Mm-hmm. Just watch the portion size and how much you and how often you're having it. Um, but you do want to limit how much sugar you're having. Definitely. How much salt. So t- mm-hmm. uh, typically, the, the recommendation for added sugar is about six teaspoons a day. It's very little. Hmm. When you think about a soda, which most of us get. A, wow. <laughs> hitting your heart again. Soda. You yeah, know. So sweet and beverages. I, I, I stray away. Oh, you, I you stray doing away. good. Then. I do pretty good. Um, I think my biggest thing is caffeine. Uh, which, so like coffee? Yeah, yeah. And sometimes energy drinks, which I read that, the, the bottle of it. Yeah, um, Today, actually, I was drinking one. <laughs> That's terrible. But I was drinking <laughs> one today, and I always pay attention to, like, the, the corner of it closest to where it has the nutrition facts. Mm-hmm. So I said, oh, 32 grams of sugar, which is a lot of sugar. Yeah, so if you want to... If you want to gauge how much sugar it has, it's, that's not, take that's that 32. That's a portion. That 32. It's 54. Divided by four. You divide that sugar amount by four, and it tells you about how many teaspoons it has. So if it was 54 divided by four, that's a ton of sugar, right? That's almost 15 wow. teaspoons they just dumped into that energy drink. Wow, that's that's yeah. a lot of sugar. And since we are on the topic of wellness, we are going to tell you um, about some wellness that you can get into sponsored by the show. This portion of the show is sponsored by Elite Dental Wellness. At Elite Dental Wellness, our vision is to create a welcoming practice that will offer exceptional dental care and a lifetime of dental wellness. We are committed to the finest possible oral care and the overall health and well-being of our patients. Elite Dental Wellness is built upon a foundation of integrity, expertise, and service. Through our commitment to modern dentistry, continuing education, and friendly atmosphere, we strive to make our patients feel that they are a part of our family. Dentistry can be scary, daunting, and uncomfortable. Dr. Batiste and her team works tirelessly to ensure your comfort. Make your appointment today with Dr. Batiste at Elite Dental Wellness at 713-789-789. Eight six eight zero. Alrighty, so I want to touch base. Um, since again, it is the holidays. Mm-hmm. 
I have a question. What's the best diet for weight loss and how can we apply that to the holidays and what we are getting ready to prepare ourselves for, for these Thanksgiving dinners, these Christmas dinners? What's a good diet for that? So we're going to rephrase that. We're not looking at a diet. We're looking at a lifestyle change. Okay. Right, because a diet is something that's short-term. Very true. And something that once you drop that weight and you go back to what you were doing before, Mm. you're going to pick it back up. So you're always looking for something that you can – manage over a long, longer period of time. Right. Because you want to learn how to keep the weight off so you're not always losing the same right. weight over and over and over again. Right. Very true. Um, so you want to eat a moderately moderate carb diet. Low to moderate. It depends on the person. Some mm-hmm. people really tolerate a lower carb diet okay. um, better. So portion size for carb is about the size of your fist. It's a lot smaller than a lot of us eat. <laughs> so looking at the size of your potatoes. Mm. I think my potatoes are bigger than that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I might eat two. But then also you're trying to gain weight, so that'll be a little bit different for you. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you want to, when you build your meal, you're, you're thinking about a, a, a healthy carb, mm-hmm. a healthy protein, and then mm-hmm. your vegetables. So you can think about a plate mm-hmm. divided into fourths. A fourth of that should be your, your mm-hmm. protein, a fourth should be your carb, and then the other half of that should be your vegetables. Mm-hmm. A lot of times we have that flipped. It'll be half of it will be meat. Mm-hmm. The other half will be carb. For sure. And then a little, like I said, a little bit of a vegetable on there. Mm. Yeah. So getting in healthy carbs, healthy proteins, a little bit of healthy fats like avocados, mm-hmm. um, your different types of oils, um, your nuts and your seeds. Mm. But then also, like I said, controlling the portion size. Yeah. I um, Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. And that's some very good advice for you all for the holidays. So remember on your plates, portions <laughs> of four, palm of your hand. Okay. And right. don't try to take somebody else's head because that's a little bigger. <laughs> it's going to be a little, maybe a little <laughs> different for Thanksgiving. But yeah. It, but it's going to be about portion size, right? Do you mm-hmm. have to overindulge in every single thing? No. Mm-hmm. If you're trying to be healthy. Now, some people don't care about health on Thanksgiving. I'm in that club. Yeah. Thanksgiving is, is go time for me. So like, that's, your, that's your cheat day. Yes. For sure. Okay. For sure. Okay. But if, if, if fitness is your goal and you're looking to, you know, be healthier mm-hmm. on that day, you know, normal portions of food. Spread it mm-hmm. out over the course of the day. Don't eat so much at one time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And try not to take so many leftovers home because Thanksgiving, just keep it on yeah. Thanksgiving. Like, don't yeah. make, roll it into Friday, Saturday, yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Yes. And then your, your calories are becoming too high. That's definitely a thing. Because um, there's so much food, and usually there's always some leftover. I guess, unless, yeah. of course, you're in my family, it's never food leftover. What? It's always, it is always gone. It's a big family. How many do y'all have? It, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. Right. And then so many people fly in, they they roll in, they roll out. So it's a big rotation of like when it first of all we eat late too. Oh, yeah. So Did you they know tell you it's going to start at 2 and then it starts at like 6. <laughs> yeah, so exactly. <laughs> so by the time you eat, you your your eyes are much bigger than your exactly. stomach. So that's another tip like have don't feel like you have to skip breakfast and lunch just so you can be ready for dinner. Because people do that. They <laughs> And then, you know, know a lot of people do, too. They they skip so they can house hop. They got some house hoppers that want to go and yeah. try different plates. They think this is a, a food testing on holidays. <laughs> and okay. it can be. Yeah. And, so. again, if, if you're not trying to be healthy, that could be an option for you. Mm-hmm. But if you are trying to be healthy and you do want to house hop, just, mm-hmm. again, control the portion sizes. Okay. Don't get so much at each stop that you make. So now you can no longer have a palm full. You need to think circles, <laughs> quarter well, yeah, size. There's going to be a lot of different types of food. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, just right. Sh- pick which one you want to in- indulge in. Because for me, it's going to be mac- the mac and cheese. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's, that's going to be a big portion of that. Which is very unhealthy. Yeah. I'm mac so and cheese is very unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> it is so unhealthy. Um, and I make it, so I know what all goes into it. And it's a ton of cheese yeah. and a ton of butter, but it's going to be really good, and I can't wait. See, my here's my, my problem with mac and cheese. I eat mac and cheese, don't get me wrong, but I'm, like, so up and down with nutrition and what to eat and what not to eat. Because after, again, watching What the Health, even before then, but when I started doing, like, a little research on milk and dairy – I do. I will not drink milk, but crazy enough, you eat cheese. I love cheese. I cannot stay away from cheese. And um, I know there's like vegan cheese that you can eat. Mm. Not quite the same. No, I want some Velveeta, which is really not cheese. It's, it's a cheese it. product. Mm. Yes. Um, but like I said, for me, I, I had to take it out when I did my bodybuilding competition. Mm-hmm. Um, before then, I did eat dairy every day, so like cheese sticks were my snack. Mm-hmm. I wasn't—I'm not a big yogurt person, so I was never eating yogurt. Yeah. Um, but once I removed it and then I added it back in, like I said, I could feel the difference. 
So once mm-hmm. you, like a, a good way to test whether or not your body is has a uh, sensitivity to something, take it out mm-hmm. for about at least twenty eight days. Mm-hmm. Try to add it back in and see how your body responds. Mm-hmm. And if I you see. feel bloated, have a headache, fatigue, mm-hmm. you start seeing breakouts. Then you know that, that your body's reacting to that food. I see. Yeah. I see. Very good pointer. And again, that um, it correlates also with beauty too, because right. um, again, people are so big on like toxins. What's in my body? How's this affecting me? If you really yeah. want to be beautiful without having to wear makeup, which I'm not judging, okay? Because <laughs> I wear makeup, you know, and I have my days where I'm just, just like, forget it, yeah. you know. But definitely take into consideration what you eat, you know, how much of it you're eating, if you're eating a lot of, like, fast food, a lot of fatty foods, if you never work out, if you um, don't drink a lot of water, all of that stuff correlates with beauty, how you feel, how you look, what your body is going to be like, and especially down the road, too. Yes. You know, like you mentioned, some we're people... Too, we're too big on, like, the instant gratification, like, how do I feel Yeah, right now? yeah. And then people like to say, well, I'm going to die of something, you know? <laughs> You do know, have, but do we have to die of like <laughs> diabetes and high blood pressure? And it, you know, and stuff, if we can control that, right? right? If you if you can play a direct role in how long you live and the mm-hmm. quali- not not only the length but the quality of your life, mm-hmm. wouldn't you want to like control that that factor? Mm-hmm. Because the thing is, if you're if you're living to be eighty, but like the the last twenty years of your life you're in and out of the hospital, right? It's not a good quality of life. Right. Like, I want to be eighty, still doing burpees, still beasting. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, Oh, you 80? I'm and you, you will 50. be. You want you, you know you be. want some compliments. You want to feel good and be active. Yes. So yeah. definitely. Very that. very good point. Um, I want to piggyback off of that too because I know so many people. Because I know people kind of get annoyed with me because I talk so much on my snap, mostly Snapchat, about like how oh I'm cooking without me. Y'all should learn this recipe. I kind of do a little recipe stuff myself because I like to experiment. Right. You know. And you should. E- instead of eating a chicken wrap, I'll go and get a veggie wrap because to me that's a little outside of the box. But also I want to see like, do I really need to have this meat? This fried chicken inside this wrap. <laughs> so, uh, this chicken center. <laughs> I done stuck center. in the wrap myself. Right. Uh-huh. But, but um, that's a very big point, too. Because, the, like you said, we do look for instant gratification. Definitely. Everybody think that, oh, if I work out for a week or if this is my New Year's resolution for a month, they're going to pop out fine. looking like Tiana Taylor. Ain't going to happen. You, you ain't hitting Tiana Taylor like in a month. Okay? <laughs> That's over time. So Even we should, if you get there, you're not going to maintain it. Right, right. So, yeah. you know, again, just to to let people know or to have it correspond with, you know, beauty and why you're here to tell us or give us insight on it, it directly correlates, ladies. If you want to look like Tiana Taylor, you need to be working out. You need to be eating good. You need to care about your fitness. Right. And I think, I think Tiana, man, said that she doesn't really control her, her eating habits that, that, mm. that well but you got to think about like your genetics like everybody's not built like her everyone can't just eat whatever they want to eat and still this is look. true and then also think about the fact that um it's not just about the way you look it's the inside like what is going on mm. inside like are you really healthy because over over a long period of time yeah what you're eating right now will show up it's gonna show up in some form or fashion for sure yeah for so. sure um and i'm gonna piggyback off of that in just a second but um in the meantime let's play some videos <laughs> So this portion of the show is sponsored by The Spear. Are you starting your business and looking for a place to advertise? Do you have a need to reach out to thousands of people across the world to build your brand and sell your products? If so, get your product placement and advertising needs handled right here at The Spear. We offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States, as well as modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dialogue, coupled with your strategic ad, is surely to hit the mark every time. Call us today at area code 832 772-7789 772-7789 or send an email over to advertise at the spirit.tv. So um, we were talking, hello you guys, we are back after, you know, that portion of the show. But um, 
we were talking about genetics. Mm -hmm. So I want to get into um, the genetics and really talk mainly about obesity. Mm -hmm. I want to know, because I did some research and I found out that Texas is actually is in the top 10 states for obesity. I can believe we have a restaurant on, it, on every corner. 32. We are at 32% of the people in Texas being obese. Wow. So I want to know what are your thoughts on that and what advice do you have for us to to get <laughs> out stage. of that obesity. Yeah. Like I was saying, Houston is huge on mm. eating out. Like with our culture is, you know, we mm. can do a happy hour every day of the week Taco for the Tuesday. year and still not go to every restaurant that we have right. in the city. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so we have to really start controlling what we eat and making sure that we're preparing our own foods so we know mm. what we put in it. When right. you get a, eat at a restaurant, they may not necessarily be concerned about your health. They just want it to taste good. Mm. So, I mean, even when you choose a salad, I've seen 1,200-calorie 12, salads. Wow. Between the avocados, the nuts, the seeds, the dressing, mm -hmm. and everything else that they put on there. You know what I mean? Like, you should be able to choose a salad and, mm. and to be healthy without being deceived. And when you go right. to a restaurant, sometimes you, you're not able to control that. Right. So we really have to get back to, like, preparing our own mm -hmm. food, making sure we're, we're choosing healthy healthy items to eat, mm -hmm. and then doing that over a long period of time so that we do maintain our health. Yeah. yeah. I definitely agree with that. Um, because Houston is very big for food. You know, mm -hmm. I tell people all the time because, you know, when tourists come, I work in a gallery area, so I run into a lot of tourists. Yeah. And I was like, oh, what's to do? What's to do? I'm like, what's to do? What's to eat is really the question. Right. Like, what <laughs> That's to? the real question. I'm uh -huh. like, um, you know, are you sure you want something to do? Because I really can't suggest. But if you want a good place to eat, <laughs> I know a couple places that you can go to. So right. that is a big thing. And I don't think people like, really feed into that because you know we look at like um again i could say a chicken wrap or a chicken salad and we think oh no that's good for me i'm eating healthy but in reality we eat a lot of stuff that we don't even know mm -hmm. what's in it right. prime example is mcdonald's you don't know what is in mcdonald's but you eat it mm -hmm. and you you think like oh i'm making a healthy choice or this is convenient and then people convenience don't convenience gets people caught up yeah definitely. yeah and then i don't think really you tune into um how this is affecting you and can i shout out the meal prep companies because we have a lot of options for if you do need yeah. to eat out and you do need that convenience yeah we have a lot of companies that are prepared foods for you we have beef fit foods which is one of my favorites mm, um, okay snap kitchen uh eat fitters oh snap kitchen Clean does cuisine, um, rich fit foods i mean I the list goes on and on and on as far yeah. as what you can choose you yeah. know what i mean that is already pre-packaged for you and you know that they have your health in mind right so right. you don't have to necessarily be eating fast food all the time mm. yeah it's a money saver too and i didn't know snap kitchen did meal prep but yeah, um they have, that's, that's what they do really yeah they really? have the meals already Package okay, yeah. hmm. maybe I'm thinking of a different kitchen. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Restaurants. You, you think of true food kitchen and get by the gallery? Perhaps. Okay. It's a kitchen. Yeah. But yeah, snap kitchen does. Okay, I didn't. I didn't know that. That's what they were solely for. Because I've seen so much of that. But that's good um, for you to also tell us good places where we can get meal prep and it's actually healthy. Yeah. So you don't have to go for that convenience factor right. of oh, this is cheap. And then this a lot of them deliver still, and you can do okay. Uber Eats for some of them. So it's just you have a ton of options mm. for if, if you are trying to become healthier. Okay. Definitely. Okay. And then also you talk about obesity. You have to build in some activity. Mm. get moving you know what I mean we sit down right. all day at our jobs mm. and over time we get slumped over you know you get tight chest you know mm. chest is tight hips are tight and we start to have that slumped over appearance where we look older than we really are right and so we really need to stretch more often mm. um trying to get in about 30 minutes of activity at least three times a week mm -hmm. and just build, build off of that but we just have to we have to, we have to do better mm. no that's definitely true yeah. because I know um like myself my big excuse is always, I don't have time. And in our reality, I don't. But um, I do want to know what do you suggest for those people? Because Houston is constantly move moving. A lot of people, they work and they're into this and that. And, you know, some people may legit just not have time. So what can you suggest for that audience that we don't have time to work out? How can we also stay fit and stay healthy? So what are some of the things uh, you said that you personally are busy? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> not trying to put you on the spot but i'm just saying like do you, do you, do you leave somewhere where you can maybe shift 
something to another day or you know what I'm saying where you can create you a know, pocket of time for workout my only day realistically for me to like work out uh would either be depending on what time I worked on Saturday yeah. afternoon or morning um or Sunday. See, Sunday is my day to kind of work on yourself. Yeah. Includes yeah. Oh. You can. You can. <laughs> this is very true. But um, you know, I was thinking more on a lighter note. What can we do? Can we put some weights on our legs while we're walking, while we're at work? Like, what what do you suggest? Um, you can build in like little small pockets of time where you mm. do something in your office. Okay. So stretch stretching in your office. Um. Walking around the, I know some people walk around the parking lot, so they may bring mm. their tennis shoes and just walk, and they may be able to do conference calls, mm. you know, and okay. talk on the phone while they're walking. If it's like okay. a lot lighter pace, um, doing the stairs, going up and down the flights of stairs, mm, so little things like instead of taking the elevator, taking the stairs, okay, okay. you know, small things like that. That makes perfect sense. Um, yeah, yeah, I see how that helps. <gasps> well, um, you know, you've got given us so much information, so many good places. Um, to go to to get food, some good recipes. You know, we're learning a lot. Um, but we are getting ready to close the show in. So I do want you to tell us going forward, <laughs> since again, January is approaching. Man, six weeks away. Yeah, yeah. What tips can you leave us going into the new year to be healthy? And, you know, how can we just go into the new year being a healthier person, living a better life? Over the long run. Yeah. I would say, um, big thing, don't wait until January. January is nice, but it's not that special. It's just, it's any other month. Mm. So your your health, you're looking at it on a spectrum, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to be unhealthy for the next six weeks, and then, like, all of a sudden we're going to start in January? No. You can you can start now. So don't put off for tomorrow what you're able to do today. Mm. Like, you can go ahead and start eating healthier now. Definitely. Uh, make some small changes over time. And the, and the big thing is don't become all or nothing. That's one thing that we get caught up in on yeah. in January is that we're like, okay, I'm going to work out five days a week. I'm going to cook all my meals. And then after, you know, three, four weeks, we crash and burn and we're mm -hmm. back to where we started. Yeah. So think about, like, what your current habits are yeah. and what small changes you can make. And then you build upon those habits over the long run. Because you're trying to create a lifestyle change. Right. Not a diet. Right. 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 So. Definitely. That is a very good pointer. Um, you know, change yourself. You, you don't wait until January. That's definitely true. Especially because, again, it's holiday season. We know you're going to get two plates. <laughs> we know. We know you're watching the show. you like, pulling my hand. We know you're still going to get two plates. It's okay. You know, but, again, don't wait until January to want to be fit and be healthy. You know, make the change today going forward. And also, Joy, please tell us where we can find you, where we can come visit you, and for you to help us get fit. Okay. Well, I train out of Studio Fitness Heights. Um, it's located off of 610 and Shepherd. It's at 2215 Lawrence Street. Um, my website is digdeepfit.com. That's dig with two Gs. Um, you can also find me on Instagram at digdeepfitness. I have a Facebook page. And I would love for you to connect with me on my, on my website. I have um, a link where you can get the top five Quick, healthy recipes. Oh, um, so <laughs> that's good. Up there, I'll be, be a part there. of my listserv, and I always send out more information and motivation to keep you just mm. progressing and becoming a better person. Yes, I yeah. will definitely be visiting for those recipes. <laughs> um, but I do thank you, Joy, for sitting down and again giving us good information on your expertise. Thank you. Oh, All of more thing. Go ahead. Um, also. Um, Towards the end of December, beginning of January, we'll be coming out with, coming out with my 28-day detox plan. Oh. Um, so detox, like you said, a lot of people will be indulging over mm -hmm. the holidays. Yes. So it's a way to just get shift and get it back to where yeah. you should be. Yeah. Um, so the plan takes away the wheat, the dairy, and the soy, which are inflammatory for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And it's a 28-day plan where it tells you exactly what to eat for 28 days. It gives you the recipes. Mm -hmm. It gives you the grocery list. Okay. And you also be a part of a community where you can have that support mm -hmm. and motivation to keep going. So. You know what? I'm going to do that with you. Let's do it. I'm going to do that with you. And we are going to watch the results, okay. everybody. Right. And I want you guys to come and join us, too. I want to thank all of the viewers, all of the listeners, all of you guys who are here. I hope you enjoyed the show and got some good information. Please have a good holiday, a good Thanksgiving, because I'll see you afterwards. Um, but remember not to overindulge, you guys. And that will be it for tonight. Thank you for Thank joining us Thank on All Thing Beauty. You are very welcome. <laughs> we are so glad that you came. And good night to everyone. Bye, y'all. Happy holidays. <laughs>